Hello, Alex's EDC Army, and welcome to Alex's Knives and Such, where the Such stands for EDC gear. This will be for my Facebook side job page called The Pocket Knife Doctor, as well as it will be for my YouTube channel to do the case paste on these slip joints. My brother's is this one, and this one, and the rest are mine to do. So I'll do his two first and show you how they come out. Then come back and do the other parts to this. And you guys will know how to use case space and all the information. So be right back. Okay, we are back. Making sure everything's good. Okay, um, we're gonna, we're gonna do my brother's knives first. His is this buck. Two, two, seven. These chairs are squeaky, so we gotta fix them up a little bit later with the screwdrivers. And it's a China-made buck. So we're going to move everything to the side that we don't need. I'm going to do it this way so, you know. And I'm going to do his after, so his other one. But we're putting this to the side. We got the cloth right here to do stuff with. Okay. I'm going to unscrew this cap. I'm trying to in the frame. Move this over. Okay. Move my chair over a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do a dab of this on the blade. Can you guys see? Yes. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to angle this downward. I mean, upward a little bit. Okay, we're going to zoom in more. So we can see the blade. That's a little bit more than we need, I think. So, from the video I watched, you rub it in. And it gets polished. Right, let me read the rules to you on this case paste. I'm going to close it up. First off, close it. Always close it. The stuff smells. It says, apply a small amount of case paste to surface and polish with a clean cloth. Wipe off excess. Buff to a brilliant finish. Avoid contact with skin and eyes. Wear protective gloves and eye protection. Avoid breathing vapors. Wash hands and expose skin after use. Store at room temperature. Keep away from heat and flame and do not allow product to freeze. Dispose of properly. Dispose of properly. Keep out of reach of children. Caution. If inhaled, move to fresh air. If eye contact, rinse cautiously with water for several minutes. If skin contact, wash affected area with soap and water. If ingested, if symptoms develop, seek medical attention. If the symptoms persist in any of these instances, seek medical attention. Product license under WR Case and Sons and Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So let me let me refresh this. And polish with a clean cloth. So this is how you're gonna do it. You take you see this cloth? Boom 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 black cloth, okay. Okay. I'm going to unfold this once. Cause that's what I need to have a little dur durable layer so it doesn't flop around in my gloved hands, okay? Medical gloves here, but we're gonna take this and go like and we're going to rub throughout the knife, you see? And since doing this, it's going to be on your cloth, so get a cloth you don't care about. Go to the other side now and rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Supposed to buff out the shininess of your blades. And you can go on the bolster. What you see fit. And so you know about my service, if you guys look at the page or I can say right now, which I will, this is the case paste. Ta-da! This is um, the cloth and the knife of your, of your um, slip joint choosing. And I will start the price at $2 plus shipping. You guys ship me what you want, or con but contact me before. I have a, a text message or email or Facebook page or Instagram. 
that I can be contacted at. Because you guys will, who want this service can get it done for $2 in shipping, depending on your knives. So, and I do have PayPal for payment or Venmo. Either way, it's okay. You got a little bit on here. This process takes a little bit because you got to make sure every nook and cranny of your case paste is not um on your thing. This is really the first real time I've been using case paste except once. And my brother is this is my brother's knife, so he'll charge. I'll charge him too. No shipping because um he's with me. I live with him. I put this down. This is my other thing. So I put the stuff on top of this kitchen towel, wipe a little. The thing smells this horribly, 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 so I'm going to have to lay this outside and let it ventilate after I'm done with everything. I only did one bolster, one side of the bolster, and a blade, so this takes about, like, 20 minutes, I, I think. We'll see. I think way less. You got a nice shine to it, so... Okay, and we're going to take this um bolster and look at it right now, too. So I think we got it on the bolster, too, if I'm not mistaken. So you keep seeing we're rubbing, we're rubbing, rubbing. I have to go up camera a little bit so I could see. But here you guys go. And look at this blade. Let me go um stand up now for you guys so you guys can see that this is gladly um um freshly um polished. Wow. A china buck thought it would have no life in it. Gotta wipe it a little bit more. Because one side of the blade has a little smidge on it. And it polished up really well. Then I'm gonna do this bolster. Has a little bit to go. Rub, 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 rub. I'm gonna do two knives and then some time lapses or um, here and there on some other knives so I don't have to do like an hour long video. And then. This bolster polished up real well. So I'll pause the video, ask my brother what he thinks, finish this knife, show it, show the other knife, finish it, show in between, and then we're done with my brother's stuff, and then we'll be going to mine. Uh, I really like the surface. It's a very good impression. This is your bolster. Looks really nice. This is your blade. I'm going to turn the brightness on my phone up. My, my, my flashlight so you can see. And then this is the other side of the blade. And then if you want to compare this bolster to this side, see? The bolster's very, very um, mute and dull. And then this one like glistens off. So even on a cheap um, $20 or less buck like this, you can still use case paste to make it look like it's elegant and fancy. This is my brother's knife, which I have one too, but it's the dog, it's the Rough Rider um, Dog Bone Jack, which I'll probably have to um, do it, modify this if I don't want to get on the bone. But if I do get on the bone, then we'll see how it turns out when it's polished from the bone. Got two blades. I'm just going to show you for the video how it looks. After, during the video or parts of the video, I'm going to close one blade and do it separately. But its model number is RR1185. Well, you can see that, but... And there's a dog bone on the shield. So I'm closing a small blade to get the big blade going. So, there you go. And I'm going to show you this. Get up and make sure you see this because this is already done. He liked it. You've seen how he said. This is very shiny. There's scratches. So you won't get the scratches out, but you get the shine. Let me turn my light on. Maybe it will help. Show you that shine. Yep. And my brother's working on one of these bar stools because they're very, very loose. I don't think no one's tightened them in many, many months. I went on the bolster, I went on this bolster, I went on this spring here, I went on this bolster, see that shine, that bolster, I went on here, 
I even went on here because I got the pins all buffed. I got the shield, says Buck, and I got the pins. And then I got this, I got, like I said, and I tried this a little bit, but not really, so it's not a big deal. But it turned out really well. So let's compare. You have this. Um, it's not too bad because he hasn't used it much, but we'll see how it comes out. The blade, though, compare the blades. So you see this case space does work wonders. He said, my brother said he'll take pictures of both when they're fully done and he'll give a review on the Facebook page and I'll link the Facebook page and show a picture of it in this video so you guys can see what is up with this stuff. Be back in a little bit to show you one blade. I'll show you what, everything after they're done so you can see it. I'm not just going to um, show it one by one so the video won't be that long but it is a longer process. Okay, we're back with the dog bone jack part of it. We got this. I'm going to turn on the flashlight on my phone because we got to check it. You will never get away from fingerprints, so if you're okay with that, which most people I think are, then you'll be fine. But it has to shine with scratch. They're scratches, so you always have to know that, that they're not going to be perfect. I got the chair and look with you guys. I didn't do that yet. And before I give it to the customer, I'm going to sh vroom, vroom, one more time, and then we got it. So now we're going on to the small blade of the dog bone jack, and then we're going to do after that the bolsters. Or along with the bolsters is the blade. Then you get the pins, and you get the shield. So if I shine up the bone, maybe it will help. So we'll see how that goes. Be right back. Oh, and by the way, I also go on the spines of the blades. So did I show that? And you know. Be right back. You really don't need so much paste of the case paste. You just dab some on the blade, depending on the size of the blade. Then when you when you have excess, you rub it into the bolster, and you can go on the on the bone and go in here. So you have some on your cloth too. Make sure you see it. Yeah. You just take it and rub it on here. So if you need to add, add it, it, add, add it how you're doing it because it's goopy or not goopy because it's dried, and you can, but we'll do this real quick, and we're going to show you how it shines. Way better, so I need a little bit more, and we're good. Got my brother's stuff oh, done. Okay. Sorry, he's watching wrestling, but got my brother's stuff done, and then I'm going to do mine and show you throughout the process, and then um, I will be done, and we can go from there with this video so you guys will know my services know everything and then um be able to make see if you want some stuff or not and then i'll then i'll talk to you a little bit about some other videos that are coming up on my channel i got the rough rider rr 1673 which is the lady leg but it is the black widow lady leg with a pattern of spider on it and spider webs. Bye. So I will do this for you too. Be right back. This is that case. I mean, the Rough Rider 1673 after case polish on the leg, on this, on that. So it's it's good. It's way better than it was. And this needed it badly. This was so dull. And it was like, it's good. That's the sparkle um, purple one, not on the model number of two, of RR2016. It's really good. Then I got all these um, raw boker um, knives to do, along with this. And I got this to do. So I'll do the buck first, and I'll go to the bokers. Uh, this is everything after case paste. You can zoom in and stuff and see. Everything looks spick spam, shiny, yummy. Goodness. And my mom's New York dog's gonna come downstairs. But I started on four or five and I done at eight forty nine. So about 
almost four to six hours. Four, um, eight, four, five to six hours. And I got all this done perfectly. Did extra on this one because it's a bigger one. A little bit on the bone because it has it has some parts that I can get stuck in there. Had to use a fork to dig some stuff out of that. You know, pry it out. Like, and get some of the excess. But overall, this stuff works. The door is open. The back door so I can get the, um, the, um, ventilation. These gloves are going in the trash. And this case paste. Is really really good so let me help you with this case paste but I recommend this case paste to anybody who wants to shine their metals and their knives slip joints exactly are great and this is what I did video will be up um, I pre-recorded this because it's so long and it took me so long so I have to pre-record it for the next day so like comment share subscribe even it's like have a great day be safe subscribe to my channel for more to come let me know what you think about the case paste and everything else in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day, be safe, and remember to use your shiny nice knives and take care of them. Bye. Bye.